Well, would you look at this little guy? Don't want to be found. Need an underground lair. Hey, enough said, dude. I can help you out with that. Vladimir. <laughs> I am with Paradise Planet, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, that word is right, Vladimir. I can help you out with your underground lair. Uh, you've really got me intrigued yet. A Russian cub here, huh? Okay, what's the plan? All right, all right, a mining car, an urn, and a camping lantern. Well, Vladimir, this is very interesting. Mm hmm, an underground lair. Very, very interesting. Okay, well, I don't think any of the locations are underground per se. Well, this may not be underground, but it's pretty close. It seems to be at the base of several levels, and I use it for Rod's uh, pirate getaway lair. So I think this will work for your underground lair as well, Vladimir. Let's do this. Yeah, yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all, Vladimir. Well, even though it's underground, it doesn't mean we're going to skimp on space. So you definitely need all the space, Vladimir. <laughs> you are cute. So we're going to do a big two-level haul. Let's do it indeed. Okay, let's get out there. Thank you. We'll see what we can do for you. Well, we're definitely going to have to put it, like, under the cover of night, because this looks... we got to make it look as underground as possible. Yet. Uh, so, let's take a look at some of the other things you've got in mind. Okay, some castle stuff. Okay, so, like, digging things up, and we've got a little cave... <laughs> this is this is very interesting, uh, Vladimir. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> all right. Um, I've got lots to think about here, and so you just give me some time, and I'll see what I can put together for you. All right, Vlad. Let's take a look at your underground lair. First of all, you can see that you're in the lowest level here. You really are underground. We can see uh, the, the different structures above us there, indicating we are subterranean. You have, you have a bunch of railway cars or mining cars that are filled with precious stones. We have a couple of these moss, uh, moss uh, statues here that glow we've got lightning and thunder we have this uh, luminescent cave and you can see that your lair is very well fortified with these walls let's go ahead and go inside the first floor of your underground lair is very much filled with this glowing moss in this subterranean basement. We can see some eerie hand prints, more mining cars, glowing moss jars, these glowing moss pools. There's really a rather magical effect here in this basement. We've got all sorts beautiful glowing items and it just gives us kind of a magical and ominous feel we can even see these various eyes peeking out from the windows to other parts of our cavern here you vladimir are wearing a 
vampire costume. Isn't that very curious? Why might you be wearing the vampire costume, Vladimir? Because you may indeed be Vlad the Impaler, Dracula himself. Isn't that very interesting? And you have come to Paradise Planning to get your secret underground lair. Well, lucky for you, Vlad, that is my job. So, I have had your casket shipped here so that you can safely be in your secret lair. And hopefully, you will be a very good vampire here. There have been good ones. There are, there are tales of good vampires. And Vladimir, I believe you to be one of them. So I hope you love your underground lair with all of its candles, with its glowing moss cave, and these glowing statues, and the forbidden altar with this urn on top of it. It's all yours, Vlad. It is all yours, bud. So, Vlad, what do you think? Oh, it's done. It's done, Vlad. Well, you take a look around. Well, you know, it's my job. I mean, this is a pretty cool joint, huh? Yeah, I'll take a few more pictures before I go. All right, Vlad. Well, it's time for me to head back. Well, thank you very much. I'm taking off. <laughs> All right, excellent. It's been a lot of fun. Later.